Hi everyone, Melanie here. So this week I finally had a chance to decorate my Hoosier cabinet and I'm really happy with the results. If this is your first time dropping by my channel for a visit, last spring around this time, my cousin gifted me her family's beautiful vintage Hoosier cabinet. And I kept it in storage in my basement for the last few months trying to decide what exactly I wanted to do with it. Because when I first saw it, I noticed that underneath the white paint, it was that gorgeous vintage green. And I love that color of green. I think it's my favorite vintage color. But then I thought, well, maybe I want to totally remove all of the paint and just have that gorgeous vintage would show through, you know, just that beautiful patina. And then I thought, no, maybe I shouldn't because a lot of you told me that underneath that wood, it's probably not going to be that gorgeous patina that like the back of the Hoosier was and also the inside of the cupboards. So I decided that I was going to leave it as is and i'm really happy with how it looks now that it's decorated and i'm also going to show you how i decorated an area on my wall so let me show you what i did here's the little area on the wall i really like this picture it was thrifted and what i added underneath was this shelf my husband made this shelf for me back when our daughter was an infant and we had it in her nursery. I kept it all these years um, and I thought, okay, it's gonna look really nice paired with this picture because as you can see, the wood of the cutting board and also the basket. So the colors tie in real nice together. And I placed two old Crocs and a little candle. This is a bed spring and my friend Sandy from Sandy's Country Crafts sent me this bed spring when I won a drawing on her channel. And I don't have the candle turned on right now because it is on a timer, but those are so cute. I love those battery operated candles. And here's what I placed underneath. I hung two little rusty hooks or hangers this little bonnet and apron was actually a playset of my daughter's a very good friend made it for my daughter when she was two years old and i just found this straw hat at um saint vincent de paul's and i think it's so cute I don't think it's very old, but you know, it kind of had an older look to me. And I just, I don't know, I think it, I think it ties in nice with that. Eventually I'll find something older that I can add. And I always have my eyes open now for aprons and bonnets. And I did find one a couple weeks ago and I did share that on my channel, but I'm looking for more primitive colored ones. This one, you know, isn't really primitive colors, but until I can find a replacement, this one works just fine. I'm gonna start at the top and show you what I did, then I'll work my way down. When decorating this, I wanted to stay true to the era that this actually would have been used, but I also wanted it to be able to tie in with the rest of the decor that I use throughout my home because I have a lot of primitive decor. I also have country, but right now a lot more primitive than anything. I do have vintage too, but mainly primitive pieces. So I think that what I chose ties in nicely with the rest of the decor. But I have this double boiler. Pretty much everything that I'm showing you has been thrifted at one place or another. And pieces that weren't thrifted have been given to me by family members. And I treasure those pieces so much. Like this spoon, whoops, I just bumped it. 
the spoon right here. That was my grandma's, yeah. And I just, I love that spoon. I don't use it, I just decorate with it. But I tell you, my mom used that spoon for as long as I can remember when I was younger. And this picture thrifted that at the Crossroads Country Mall. And yeah, pretty much everything, you guys, is thrifted. I am definitely a thrifting, antiquing junkie. Uh, there's that green I was telling you guys about. Uh, love that green. And this is the color that my Hoosier was originally. And I'll show you that as I go down um, and show you some of the other areas on this beautiful cupboard. This is how I decorated the shelves. I wanted it to feel like when you walk, cause here's, okay, so here's the doors. So I wanted it to feel like whenever you walk into these doors, you're stepping back in time and you're entering a home from the past. So I really hope that I achieved the look that I was going for. Added some old strainers and pie plates. And these are aluminum. And look at this. I actually have two of these um, quick mother's oats. I have another one that is bigger than this one. Bought both of them at the Crossroads Country Mall. And I have this Raleigh's cloves and it still has spice in it. Some more muffin pans. Let's see if you can, there you go. Give you a better look. These are all vintage tablecloths. Show you a couple of them. This one's, this one here is Christmas. This one has, I think like grapes and stuff on it. And this one is really pretty. So I thought it would look nice. This adding fabrics just really helps to soften up a look. And just also adds some more texture. On the door, I added this. It's just an enamel strainer. I'm gonna change my position here a little bit. Show you the door. See if I can, so you can see here the green band that is around the enamel countertop of this. Close that back up. And here, I added some old, two old cookbooks. So this one, I, my sister-in-law picked this one up for me. This is an old Bible storybook. I actually have two of these. My mom just gave these to me. They are from the 1950s, I believe, and they both belong to my brothers. And this, my mom just gave me the Modern Family Cookbook. My mom has no idea where she acquired this, but we were looking at the date and we wonder if this might have been a wedding gift. So, it's a nice one. My mom used to use this cookbook a lot. And I have an old little hand mixer. And here, so I like this Jack Frost granulated sugar bag. I bought that last year at a flea market and I wanted it to look like it still had sugar in it. So what I did was just stuffed it full of that polyfill. So I think that works pretty good. These are not old. <laughs> I made these little primitive breads. It's so nice to decorate with faux food. It just helps to add to the look that you're trying to go for. Placed a flour sack towel under there. And here, this cookie jar was my grandma's. My mom gave that to me. And that's just a little faux spice plant. Cutting board. This yellowware bowl was also my grandma's. So nice decorating with family heirlooms. 
You know, it's just nice reminders of the people that we love. And this scale, I bought that at a flea market. And I thought it would look nice to just place some faux eggs. I love the brown ones and the speckle. They almost look real. <laughs> They're not, but they almost do. Oh, and on the door, I added two of my older vintage aprons. Purchased both of those at the Crossroads Country Mall. And my husband, I want him to eventually straighten out this door for me. We've just been so busy <laughs> that he hasn't had any time. And I didn't decorate inside the cabinet. I just basically use it for extra storage. And I've found that it's a great place to store all of my candles. So, plus whenever you walk past this, it smells really nice. And I also have just extra like kitchen decor in here. Things that I would incorporate with my decorating. You know, now it's nice and handy. I don't have to go the whole way downstairs to hunt for stuff. Of course, I still have a lot more other stuff down there, but at least some things are close by now. So here is, I'm gonna show you. So look, see, look, that's the original color. Oh, I would have loved it if I could have got it back to that original color. But the more I thought about it, no, I love this because my aunt or my cousin painted this. So, you know, it just, it just adds to the specialness of this piece. And I'm gonna give you a, a full, full view now of how it all came together. I spent a lot of time playing around with this, trying to figure out exactly how I wanted it to look, what direction I was going with, and I would add things and then I wouldn't be happy with the look of it. So I would go and change it, but I'm definitely gonna keep it like this for a while. <laughs> Eventually I'll change it, but I am so um, thankful to my cousin for gifting this to me. This is definitely a special family heirloom that I plan to keep in my family. Hopefully one day my daughter will decide that she likes older things. Not everything in her life that she buys has to be brand new. Hopefully she will find that appreciation and I can pass this on to her one day. Oh, that's a nice thought. <laughs> that's it, my friends. I'll see you in the next one.